All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We're here at the title screen because you know what this means. It means that there's a new update to the game. Uh, I love new new updates for PC Building Simulator. This is update version 1.4. You can tell because it's in the bottom right. See that? What's new? I could click that, but I'm just gonna tell you. So we are gonna go through everything new in the 1.4 update of PC Building Simulator. Um, right off the bat, I'm not sure. So they changed out this this computer that's on the on the on the start screen here. They had a different computer with like a Radeon 7 in it at the 1.3 update. So they've changed a little bit. We've got some sort of Strix card, vertically mounted. I'm not sure what case this is. I don't think this is a new case. There are new cases, spoiler. Um, and some sort of Raging Tech air cooler that is not new either, I don't believe. So anyway, we're gonna dive into free mode and I'm gonna show you the new things. But first, if we click free build, you're gonna see our first change. <gasps> they've added a new cool workshop. That's right, so we had the original workshop, right? We got the Razor Workshop, there's a paid DLC, um, available only on PC as far as I know. And here is the paid Asus ROG Workshop. So I will be getting that, and I will be showing you guys that. That's gonna come in a separate video, so you better come back if you wanna see it. Uh, it looks very uh, cool, I don't know. So anyway, we're gonna go to the Razor Workshop because I like it, and we're gonna check out all the things that change in this. Okay, here we are in the Razor Workshop. We've got our old Corsair build from the last video, the all blue build. If you guys haven't seen those, go ahead and check them out. Um, and we've got room because we're gonna need room to work so we can show you all the new cool things they added in this update. There are a lot of, of good things. The, the, I gotta say the developers at the regular corporation who are making this game are really adding content to this game pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, it's really back screen. Um, but yeah, pretty awesome. So I'm gonna start with a couple peripheral changes. Um, in version, I think it's 1.3, they added custom peripherals, I think. Um, but they didn't have any custom monitors, and now they do. They have one from ASUS, the ASUS ROG Swift PG27UQ. I don't even remember what the resolution of that is in real life. It's either 1440p, maybe 4K? I don't know, but, uh, you know, it's ASUS, and they love to throw off the, uh, the ROG logo so you can see it there. Uh, we'll see if we can actually change that. They also added some new keyboards. We got all those Razer keyboards that existed before. We had quite a few custom options. And now we've got a couple options, and by a couple I mean six options from ASUS. The RG Claymore, the RG Claymore left numpad. That's oddly specific. That's hilarious. A right numpad and a left numpad. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, the ASUS Tough Gaming K7 and the ASUS Tough Ga Gaming K7 with the attached wrist rest, which is a Again, okay, all right, cool. Uh, and the Asus Tough Gaming K5. So I said six new keyboards. Really, I'm gonna say there are four. One, two, I don't care which side the numpad's on. Three, four. But there you go. Let's go ahead. I don't like, um, 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 um. I don't know which one's cool. I guess K7 with the wrist rest. I don't know. What kind of switches does it have? Huh? What color? That's what I wanna know in this gaming. If we're gonna talk about which side the number pad's on. Uh, anyway, and they also added some new mice. So we had all these Razer ones we had before. None of those are new. We have, I think, a couple? Oh my gosh, the Smooth Point Gold Edition? That's not new, but it's hilarious. Oh uh, yeah, a couple. So the Asus ROG Spatha, which I think must be wireless, maybe? And the Gladius Core, Gladius 2 Core. Um, is that? Oh, wait, what? Is it? Because I think it charges in that little thing but it looks like it has a wire going into it because i'm yeah hmm weird okay i'm pretty sure you can use it probably wired or wireless i don't know i'm pretty sure that's a wireless mouse and that's why it has a little dong but whatever um there are also some new mouse pads we had i think a couple these ones from razor and now we have this asus one and this one this one's got chi charging so if we use this like in real life you could just throw this little dot guy from away get rid of the cables and your mouse would just always be charging because it would charge wirelessly via chi, which is very neat. So um, there it is, that's new peripherals. Um, and we've also got some new headsets. How do headsets work? Oh boy. Um, I don't, oh, um, I don't remember how this works, to be honest. Peripherals, um, headsets. Okay, so we got all these Razer ones. Those are not new, but now we have the Asus ROG Strix Fusion 700, which I don't really remember how to choose headsets, which is 
bad and I'm sorry. I don't, oh, I really don't remember how headsets work. Maybe I have to have the computer done. Like I can swap it here. Okay, well, there it is. It's a headset with ROG logo then. Cool. Okay, so that's I think all the peripheral changes. Cool. Um, let's go on to some of my favorite changes. Cases. They added one, two, three, four, five cases. And they added them from Lian Li, which is a very interesting company. They make some very cool water cooling cases, so I'm excited about that. The Landcool one actually just comes in two different colors, so really it's only two cases. Um, and then the the PC011 Dynamic, which is a really cool case for water cooling. Um, and it's like the Razor edition, so I'll just, I'll just pull it out real quick. Just take, just take, quick, take, quick, take, quick, take a quick peek see. Oh, top cover first. I've seen this case in real life. It's pretty cool. I like it. You got room to do big fat radiator there. Um, and they do a lot of water cooling in these. Like I've seen a bunch of pre-builds in this case and they do some pretty cool water cooling. So got a vertical power supply mount, which is getting more and more popular, it seems like. Um, so yeah, we will be building in this at some point. I am excited. And it's kind of cool because even though it's like the Razer edition, it's not like super in your face. Like some, like look, like that's the most subtle Razer logo Razer's ever put onto a product probably ever so um, that's kind of cool if you're not like super into tons of brand so i think we have yeah room for uh radiators up top we've got the room from the back and a pretty big tray to put a motherboard on so i think we'll have some good options on this one so excited about that um there's also that other lean lee case um so yeah we can you know we'll check those out at some point but yeah that's what they added they also added three skews from um a different case manufacturer and it's fsp which i don't know like oh, fsp fsp like i feel kind of dumb because i've never heard of fsp so they have the cmt 340 the cmt 510 plus and the cmt 520 plus so obviously this is the largest here they have 520 plus um yeah i mean oh it's uh wow interesting fans are those fans there are some new case fans and those might be them the fsp cmt 520 case fans they're also 510s which i don't know how different those are but so yeah we got some new fans some different case fans from fsp as well uh but yeah i have never heard of fsp which is making me feel very i don't know i'm i'm sorry so that's all the cases um we got some new let's see water cooling gear uh yeah actually a lot of water cooling gear so let's go ahead <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about that we have no new wait oh that's right so they better add a bunch of alpha cool stuff but i didn't realize that they put e quiet i was not aware of that i missed that i guess um but yeah we've got a 120, a 240, a 360, a 140, um, wait, yes, 140 and a 280. Okay, cool. That's cool. We got that's some good options there. Eh, cool. And I obviously like you know no RGB on these, but we will be checking those out for sure and putting those in a build. And another thing they added in general is new reservoirs, and not just new reservoirs, but really different reservoirs. We've got this crazy alpha cool reservoir thing which looks awesome and it looks potentially really compact so that'll be cool to see if we can fit that in some spots and maybe do some different stuff with some bills that really couldn't support water cooling because there wasn't enough clearance we've also got this this one and this super tall one the intilla 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 so yeah some new reservoirs very cool uh that'll be super fun to play with i don't think any of them support rgb we'll just play with them and see also got new cpu blocks we had all these ek blocks already got that all yep this one and this one we had the erasion tech blocks now we have oh cool blocks look alpha cool i don't like want to call them oh cool uh alpha cool blocks and they come in different colors so we got black blue gray matte gray red silver and then we've got their threadripper in there 2066 blocks, which don't come in a different color. They have, that's interesting though. They have fittings in the side and the top. So we can choose, theoretically, I'm hoping we can choose if we want to go out the top or out the bottom. 
which will be really cool. So I'm super excited to check those out. Um, we've also got some new GPUs from Alphacool. So we've got a water-cooled 20ATI, which I'm really excited about because there's only been one version of the water-cooled 20ATI, and that was the one from Aorus, um, which was cool and really sharp looking, but kind of had a little bit of a color theme, and so it could be a little clashy. Now we've got this block. We've also got this like plexi block. So that's super sweet. And then we also got a 1080, which is interesting, with a totally different block. So we will be doing builds um, probably with all these at some point. So that'll be really fun. Very excited about that. Um, we got a couple new fittings as well. So we had all these ZK blocks already. We had these Rasion Tech ones, an RGB fitting, which is crazy. Uh, but now we have these Alpha Cool ones. So not super into them. I probably, I don't know if I'll really use them because I don't love these big chunky ones. But uh, anyway, that's fun. So um i guess i'll just go ahead and look at those case fans again just because i'm guessing oh so they are rgb okay that's cool so they're both rgb they're both 120 they have a little bit of a different style okay those are the case fans um oh boy we did get power supplies which um again from fsp the hydro g650 the hydro ptm 550 the hydro ptm 650 and the hydro ptm a 750 and I, I mean they're called hydro which makes you feel like is this a water-cooled power supply uh, oh and the dagger pro and the dagger pro okay, these two are from, oh wow okay a lot of different wattages and whatnot so you know power supplies they're cool um let's see what else I know I'm thinking of one other big thing but I don't want to go to it yet I want to finish everything else that might be everything else though radiators reservoirs we did it. We got GPUs. We got CPU blocks. We got case fans, power supplies. Okay. One last thing they did add. We finally got an RTX 2060, the Founders Edition. So we didn't have the 2060 before. It was 2070 and up. So still no super cards, but we have the RTX 2060. That's kind of fun. That's neat. Um, and sadly, no Ryzen 3rd gen, but uh, soon, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, I forgot to mention this too. Uh, one thing that they added that's kind of cool. So you could always go in and like change your wallpapers on the computers you build and whatnot. Um, now you can upload your own. Look. He, he, he. So you can go in here and you can go to, you know, custom instead of just going over here and doing whatever. Um, and you can upload your own. So there's mine. <laughs> eh. So there it is. Kind of a cool addition, to be honest. Uh, kind of interesting. Actually, looks quite sharp there. If I do say so myself, I'm totally not biased at all. So yeah, I think that's everything. That's pretty much everything that they added that's new and exciting. Obviously, they have the new workshop, which we'll be checking out in a video very soon. Um, lots of good bug fixes that I'm reading through the changelog. Some of the like case alignment issues I've had, like I think I built in like the Corsair 280X, and the front radiator alignment was super wonky. Well, supposedly they fixed that, so that's cool. Um, it's not like I already made a video or anything, but that's fine. Oh, we could come back. I don't know. So yeah, um, you know, bug fixes. And it's good. And I'm just really happy to see that PC Building Simulators continue to update and add new awesome vendors like Alpha Pool's brand new. FSP is new, new to me especially. Um, and Lee and Lee is new. I mean, so super exciting. And they kind of tease in the change log what's next. And they basically said, we got a bunch of cool parts and manufacturers and vendors coming soon. So. Uh, be on the lookout for that. You know as soon as that update comes out, I will be doing a video on it, and I will be uh, very excited to see it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did enjoy and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this one, more videos of PC Building Simulator. We're going to do a bunch of other cool builds in some of the new cases and uh, with some of the new parts, and we're going to check out the Asus ROG workshop very soon. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.